Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, if you don't remember, uh, last episode, we uh, got our hands on the children. As well as, um, well, getting up on the roof and then apparently falling down from it. So, I don't know how we're going to get out of here. But, so be it. I also don't know why they bother locking their gate with an expert lock when you can literally just jump over the fence. So, real geniuses there putting a barrel next to their fence for the player to jump over. Idiots. Heard they're informing the dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near this side. You're oddly enthusiastic about killing undead creatures. It's startling, if anything. Do I go to the Thieves Guild, or do I pass on that? Hmm. Rare trinkets from the finest oddities from Morrowind. Oh yeah, you poor guy. You get thrown in prison due to the Thieves Guild not liking you. Hmm. Let's take a look at what's nearby. Maybe we should wander down to Solitude. Let's do that. We're going to take a, uh, a pleasant wander to Solitude and visit a certain child as well as show off an exploit that I love to use. I don't know how well known this is, but I found it on the Xbox edition, and for some reason it was never patched, so. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? You are very, very, very dark in the face, dude. You're scaring me. Climb and back and we'll be off. Like, is that just the lighting being weird? Okay, it is, because he looked like he was, like, Slade from Teen Titans. Nope, I have not. Thankfully, my load time isn't usually pretty low, but I'll uh, read this. Each hold tracks its crime. Oh, never mind. So, now we're going to move forward here and do the good old exploring of uh, Windhelm. You know, all things considered, this is actually a fairly unique city. And who might you be? If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. Okay. There's no secret yet. Hey, stop moving. Stop that. I'm trying to do something. Uh, I guess you're not really a Goomba after all. We haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these gray suits didn't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you a visit tonight. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We got ways We're of finding out what you really are. <sighs> I'm gonna talk to you. Do you hate the Dark Elves? Are you... You've come to the wrong city then. Windhelm does. Some of these Nords will come up with any excuse to despise us. And it isn't just the Dark Elves they hate. They make a target of the Argonians as well. In fact, just about anyone who isn't a Nord is fair game for their... I'll have a little chat with him. Mm -hmm. Where'd he go? Let's see. The drunk could have wandered off that far. You. You a Dark Elf lover? I don't like your attitude. All right. Fists only. Uh, where do you go? Oh, there he is. Ow. 
as you were saying. Snowback, I'm sorry. Wait, what? Friend? Dude. Are you bipolar or something? I'm pretty sure you are being racist with him, so I'm not going to pity you. Where is the, uh, the pickpocket? Where is she? Hmm, I'll need to find her later. But anyways, there's a, there's a fun little glitch that I found while, um, oh, there you are. I never realized that she'll go to the forge and use it to warm up. That's really cool, but depressing at the same time. The butcher is out free. Great. So right here. Oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> uh, this wall right next to the um, shatter shield right here. It's broken. Because I remember I was backing away and trying to hide from a guard. I walked and I realized I just kept walking. And then eventually, well. The reason why I was hiding from a guard is um, to remain undisclosed. It may or may not have been because I um, activated my vampire ability in the middle of city by accident. Because I sneezed and hit the button to do it. Because that was back when the button was attached to my mouse, so it was a very easy thing to do. Alright, so we have uh, Mr. Mr. Cultist trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood. Because if you remember, last episode we killed Gretel the Kind. And, well... Mistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Gwella the kind. Well, she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here and you could kill Gwella the kind. I got news for you, kiddo. She did? This is the best news I've ever gotten. I mean... I knew the Dark Brotherhood was good, just not that good. Who killed the old hag before I even asked? Um, yeah. And please, take this as payment. It's an old family heirloom, it's supposed to be pretty valuable. It should set you a nice price. Thank you again. You're a sick kid, you know that. And pretty soon we'll end up with the, uh, the we know message from the courier. So, that's still a ways off, and I don't want to get involved in any politics quite yet. If the guards would listen to Viola, they'd have caught the butcher by now. You're a wood elf, aren't you? You're in a weird place. All right, um... Let's see, where can we go? That will kind of be a little fun to explore. Um, hmm. I 
let's see, I guess we can slowly march out into this area over here. But I've spent a lot of time in this area. So we're gonna... But I don't usually spend any time in this area. Just because of the Forsworn infestation. So, let's go. Nothing scary about this at all. See, look, they just have some pots and pans and a large sack. Nothing scary about this area whatsoever, or tells me there may or may not be a cannibal living in here. Oh, God, what's going on? My senses are kicking in. Shoot, I just dropped that. I meant to recharge it. No. Recharge with a lesser soul gem. Yeah, she's wearing vampire armor. No kidding. Oh no, skeletons. I'm so scared. Looks like we have a location to go to. So, a little bit ago, I, um... I, uh, stumbled upon the last episode of Regular Show again. And, uh, boy, was that a tearjerker. I mean... Hmm. I don't know where that came from. I just, just kind of popped up. Oh, boy. Not again. So... Last time I ran into a master vampire, I um, got the absolute snob get out of me. This time, though, will be different. Wow, Chillrend is really good. And back by this orcish sword. I mean... Wow, vampire armor is worth a lot of money. I'll be taking those. So as of today, the uh, Tumblr NSFW ban went into effect, apparently. So... College Humor made a pretty funny video about that. I need to go through and see if I can craft some potions with all those ingredients I have, because I have, that's probably a lot of carry away there. I should be safe to uh, do some crafting. So we're going to loot this area real fast. Let's uh, do some disenchanting. Um, I'll take that. Let's see. All right. That'll do. Hmm. Let's make some potions. 
So I don't know any recipes by heart, but we're just going to mix a bunch of stuff together and see what happens. Whoa, okay. All right. That is completely useless. All right, so I'm getting some weird combinations here. Interesting. Ooh, look at that. That's a good one. Looks like we got some fun poisons to use on them. Hmm. Um, we may as well just see what kind of fun combinations can come out of this. I mean... And like some good ravage poisons. Um, let's do butterfly wing, giant's toe, and snowberries. Oh, okay. Let's do near root, bear claws, and death bell. Okay. Garlic, skeever tail, thistle branch. Um, vampire dust. And bone meal. Nope. Garlic and vampire dust. Oh, hello. Interesting combination. I know vampire dust gives you invisibility, so... Let's be a little more cautious with that. Hmm. Darn. Oh, okay. Damage stamina regen, because that's something that I need. I don't really know, I don't think that's ever been like a main problem in combat is Having an enemy who has their stamina regen be way too fast. Alright, I wonder how much, uh carry weight that just dropped by mixing all those together. I will never know. Hmm. Oh, hey, a soul gem. Alright. Cool stuff. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of this area because I'm starting to get the big spooks. So... Because I'm paranoid, I'm starting to wonder if whether or not I'm actually recording audio. But I may as well just keep going, because if I stop now, the, uh, the recording will stop and I'll have to stitch it back together, and that's a pain. Hmm. Oh, whoa, well, what's that? I, uh, just wanted to say that I'm really happy that, um, uh, you know, there's a select few of you. Or a group of you that actually, uh, you know, enjoy losing my antics over and over again. That's pretty cool. So, thank you. Because, uh, it's a little shocking, actually, that people actually enjoy watching my content. So, I'm trying to be more strategic with my postings to Reddit 
And um, I actually got lucky with uh, posting episode 29 because I was actually going to post the Subnautica. But uh, truth be told, I just really, really liked that screenshot. Oh, God. So that led to me posting that episode because I just liked the screenshot. Well, you came out of nowhere. Well, I mean, I saw you coming, but I just didn't expect you to come from behind the tree. So, you know, this orca sword kind of reminds me of Pikmin's blade from Fallout 4. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to see a courier running up on me. Let's see, those look like Thalmor Justicators. I don't like the Thalmor. We're going to get rid of them. We're going to start with the one in the back in particular. Pow. Oh, missed. Missed. Missed again. Oh, no, I got it. I got a hit. Or maybe not. Wow, I'm terrible. There we go. Let's get this party started. Okay, I want this. I want my chill rend. Uh oh. Crap, where'd that sword go? Did I pick it up? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm gonna, can I charge you? Yes, I can, just a little bit. All right. So let's do uh, damage magicka. Um, hold on, I think I just had my phone go off, but I'm not sure. Nope, then I'm gonna turn the volume down on it just to make sure that doesn't go off while recording because that'd be a bad thing. Hmm. Let's see. Let's also take a potion of healing. Let's get started. That's one. That's two. And this will be three. Thank you. I will be taking as much of your stuff as I possibly can. Because Thalmor gear fetches a hefty price in the black market. Thank you. <sighs> hmm. All right, cool. So we've got a lot of fun stuff to sell. Through a means of undisclosable methods we have a lot of fun gear to sell oh this is the red guard one hi oh you're a bandit never mind okay i'm sorry what were you saying again Something about me picking a bad time to get something? I mean... Hi, how's it going? Doing the exact th th thing that I said I wouldn't do, and that's go hack and slash, but it's just so easy to cut them down. Like, especially with this combination here.
dropped. <sighs> Easy picking. Nothing. I think I can. Where are they at? Oh. Are you sure about that, buddy? Surprise. Oh, you're an outlaw. No matter. You're still dead. See, sometimes I'm really good with a bow, but other times I'm absolutely... My inner goblin just kind of had a little bit of a field day there. I love collecting large sums of... <laughs> dropped. Now, she's going to come around the corner right there. Uh, kind of. I mean, I can pull out children if you want. I don't think either of us want us to want me to pull children out quite yet because that's more of a last resort kind of thing. I mean, let's be honest here. I mean, the children is more of a um, sort of last resort. I need to cut you guys down right now where you stand. Well, the bow is more of me just having a good time and enjoying distance where it's safe. Alright, let's learn from the mistake. Oh, no, we're good. This is, um... Alright. So far, so good. Let's be just a little cautious, though, with, uh... How we're doing this here. You got an enchanted weapon and you do a lot of damage. All right, well, let's stop messing around here and actually take things seriously, I guess. <sighs> Your chief was weak. 
Now, what does it tell you if someone like me could cut him down with a bow and arrow in close range? It means you're nothing. Hmm. So far, so good. Let's open this up here. Nothing worth taking. No? Do you ever think bandits know that, like, all of their buddies are dying? Okay, I'm back at the start. Cool. I love it when it goes full circle. Okay, we got a lot of stuff to sell. So, we're going to head to, hmm, you know, let's actually head to Whiterun. I still haven't been to Riverwood yet. I should probably do that eventually. But I don't want to, I don't want to start the main quest line yet. Just because, like, I don't want to be Dragonborn, I just want to be an adventurer, you know. I don't like the whole self-fulfilling prophecy idea. Fine, what do you got for me? It starts. And now I just need to find a bed. <sighs> Fool. Get his clothes with the dragons about. Official business only. <sighs> Whoa, buddy, dude, we already did, went through this. I'm sorry about that, I just bumped the uh, cable. I need new shirts, this is like a ridiculously itchy shirt. Okay. Um Got some good pieces out here. I don't claim to be the best. Oh, it's late at night, so you're not gonna talk to me. Hmm. I think I know what my screenshot's gonna be. For you, red legion. For I... Hold on. I'm gonna do something that I usually don't do. No, never mind. I love, love. Even a okay, those captions are getting in the way of a good screenshot. Okay, preacher. All right. 
you know, as annoying as he is, he does have a good point when it comes to Talos because I can't even defend you when you're being so annoying like that, dude. Come on. All right. It is time for the Dark Brotherhood. No, oh, it's kind of getting late. <gasps> They're everywhere. Want to hear a little Lord wisdom? You don't really know a woman until you've had a strong drink and a fist fight with her. I'll take you up on that offer. Think you can go blade a blade with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. And why not? A hundred gold says I knock your hide. Just says no weapons, no magic, no crime. All right, let's, let's do go. this. Cat she has claws. Uh oh. Whoa, dude. Oh, there once was a hero named Rat King. Keep walking, soft touch. I'm more woman than you can handle. And why not? A hundred gold says I knock. Just says no weapons of magic. Let's go. Come on. Thought I heard someone say when he met the. You've got quite a bit of armor on you. This is actually a little difficult. Here we go. Now that's what I call a punch. You got me. Nicely done. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Cool. New follower. All right. What can I get you? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Need anything else? Just let me know. Alright, show me where it is. Let's go. Hey, whoa. I uh, just wanted a room, not a... Okay, fine. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's go. And still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelad. Hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight hmm, problem. You see, that little Eretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now, that's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, uh, what can I... Go on, see if you can figure it out. Make your choice, make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Am I to take your sup? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. 
Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. It's not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Get these things off of me! I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. So we have a bandit mercenary, a spoiled housewife, and a fellow Khajiit. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hello? Hello? I, I know you are listening. Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. All right, that last line has earned you the special axe of death. <laughs> Who's next? What's happening? Damn it, what are you doing? None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Edmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. Quite a lot of bravery, sir, for someone who's tied up with a bag over their head. Excuse me? What kind of question is that? I'm a woman living in Skyrim with six children and no husband. Do some people look down on me? Have I made some enemies? You're damn right. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep and children to feed. Now, let me out of here! You're lucky you have children. Is this about that raid last week? I told Holgrim there was no honor in killing sleeping men, but he wouldn't listen. It wasn't my fault, I swear. My name is Fulltide. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a stealth sword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? What? Oh, God. I, I don't want to die. Okay, well, I guess it's possible. I've been selling my sword arm for years now. It kills a lot of people. Could be someone wanting revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? Nameless cell sword. Making a living as a mercenary. Hmm. Whatever it is, I'm sorry. Well, normally I would kill all three of them. I believe proper justice is in order. You're a cell sword, you've made mistakes in your past, but you're humble. You have children, so you've earned my sympathy. And you. You are apparently the defiler of daughters, so come with me. You're going up here. Come on. No, oh, no. Here we go. It's this one. There you go. <laughs> when most would speak, you listen. You think. You understand that the only thing that matters is you following my orders. To kill you. Of course. I would... In the sun... When questioned by the black door, answer with the correct passphrase. Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. God, you're creepy. Remember, the sanctuary is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from prying eyes. No, nope. get back up there. Remember, 
The sanctuary is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from human eyes. Hey, I'm trying to position you for a fun screenshot. Come on. Remember, Shut up, Astrid. Yes, I am aware of where it's at. I'm trying to position you with a corpse now, please. Remember, the sanctuary is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from human eyes. I'm having more fun playing with the dead body. Remember, the sanctuary is in the southern pine forest, just beneath the road and away from human eyes. Perfect. Okay. Shut up. Alright, well. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Skyrim ASMR. We've actually made a lot of progress and gotten pretty far for just simply screwing around and not actually paying too much mind to the game itself and just exploring, wandering, and having fun. I hope you guys were able to enjoy the time that we spent in this playthrough, and I'll see you next episode. Have a fantastic